All right, I'm joined now by State Senator Scott Weiner from San Francisco. Thanks for coming in. Uh, let's talk off that piece about the gun control because California has some pretty strict laws. Uh, are they tough enough, and are, are we ever going to get more meaningful legislation that prevents what seems like a rash of these shootings? Sure, we have we have pretty tight uh, gun control uh, in California, and I'm, I'm I'm looking at uh, additional measures we can explore for next year. Uh, we need fewer guns in our state. Uh, but uh, really, this problem is not going to be definitively addressed until we have national uh, gun control because uh, we know that when you have, whenever you have a, one of those gun shows in Nevada near the California border, violence upticks in California. Uh, so we need to have federal action. All right. Let's talk about recreational marijuana because that becomes legal in California on January the 1st. You have some concerns about zoning in particular in San Francisco with regard to the Board of Supervisors. What are you most concerned about? Sure, well, 74% of San Franciscans voted in favor of legalizing adult use of cannabis. And we have a long history of being on the cutting edge of medical cannabis in San Francisco. Uh, right now, uh, the Board of Supervisors is considering a very, very restrictive zoning legislation that would effectively ban new cannabis businesses in almost all of San Francisco. So basically wiping out the industry in terms of new businesses. Uh, that's not okay. That contradicts the will of the voters. Uh, I'm a believer in good regulation of cannabis and smart zoning. We want to have a buffer around schools, for example. Sure. Uh, but they're going too far and they're going to destroy the industry in San Francisco. It seems like the notion that San Francisco is going to be ultra conservative on, on this is hard to imagine. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm, I, I, you know, these are good people on the Board of Supervisors and my former colleagues. Um, I believe that they'll do the right thing. Uh, we have uh, been trying to create more public awareness about the issue uh, so that we're not just seeing the minority of opponents come out to City Hall. We want to see a good cross-section. And again, 74% voted yes. Okay. Uh, also want to talk about the elections that took place this week in New Jersey and Virginia because there were significant victories for Democrats. Yeah. What do you think this means for the long run uh, specifically? Uh, you know, is there, can we, we make a direct correlation between what's coming down the road and, and the results of these elections? Uh, if I were a Republican right now, which I'm not, uh, I would be very, very concerned. Uh, and as a Democrat, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm actually a native of New Jersey. I've lived here for 20 years, but I grew up in New Jersey. Uh, and I remember in 1993 uh, when the Republicans swept Virginia and New Jersey, and then a year later in 1994, uh, the Republicans picked up 60 seats in the House of Representatives. Uh, what we saw, particularly in Virginia, where some very conservative seats went Democrat, uh, is that uh, people have had enough of Donald Trump, uh, of the corruption, of the craziness, of the radical, completely crazy politics that he's brought with him uh, and what's happening in Congress right now. Uh, I believe the Democratic base is highly motivated. Swing voters are going to go Democratic, and I think we're going to have a good year next year. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this all unfolds. Senator, thanks so much for coming in. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. All right, Scott Weider.